Hey guys, what wavelength of light is emitted when an electron drops from the fourth energy level to the second energy level in hydrogen? Here's a hydrogen atom. When the first electron or only electron in hydrogen gets excited, it can jump up to the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, hundredth, billionth energy level. When it does that though, it has to absorb some energy. Then when the electron drops back down, it has to give off energy. So let's say it jumped up to the fourth energy level. We don't know how much energy that took. But it's in the fourth energy level, chilling, having a good time, and then drops down to the second energy level. It has to give off energy to do that. It does so in the form of light. And I want to know what color or how energetic or what the wavelength of that light is. All right, when you're asked for the wavelength coming from hydrogen, you've got a formula for it. One divided by the wavelength is the Rydberg constant times one over the initial energy level squared minus one over the final energy level squared. This accounts for the fact that it's dropping from the fourth to the second. Let's grab some paper and work this out for the fourth to second energy level. I'm just going to keep that there so you can see it. 1 over the wavelength is the Rydberg constant, 1.0974 times 10 to the 7 meters to the minus 1 times 1 over the initial energy level, that's the fourth shell, minus 1 over the second shell squared. Oh, that one's squared too. Look at this, this whole side is just numbers. So you can just plug it right into your calculator. There we go, can you see that? Yes, you can. I'm gonna start with this here. One divided by 16 minus one divided by four gives me negative 0.1875. I have to multiply that by this times 1.0974 times 10 to the power of negative 7. Oh, positive 7. Positive 7. I end up with negative 2057625. Now, this is in meters to the minus 1. Now, how do I solve for actual wavelength? I actually just flip everything in let me explain that to you. I can flip this and make it just lambda, or the wavelength, if I take one over the answer that I have. When I do that, one divided by answer, do I have an answer key on here? I'll just type it. Negative, oh, nuts, 2057625. Oh, I got that which is 4.85 times 10 to the minus 7. And my units are meters now. Uh, oh, huh, you couldn't see any of that as it was happening. I'm going to keep going anyways. This is 485 nanometers. I know that because I know that in these kind of questions, I'm going to get 10 to the minus 7 a lot. And when I have 10 to the minus 7, all I have to do is convert that to nano if I multiply this by 100. 485 is a visible wavelength. I don't exactly know what color it is. Maybe it's uh, red or pur pur uh, it's probably red, something like that. In any case, the answer is that when an electron drops from n equals 4 to n equals 2 in hydrogen. You use the formula, including the Rydberg constant and the two energy levels, and you end up with a wavelength. This is acceptable, but this is in nanometers, which is what we prefer. Last note, you'll notice I dropped the negative. The negative here simply shows that the light was being emitted as opposed to being absorbed. The negative doesn't play a role here. You can't have a negative wavelength. The wavelength has to be positive. The negative just means the light came out. Use the formula, find your answer, best of luck.